Hi guys, um, today I received a lot of messages from students uh, asking for help on this topic from our Delta Math from this week, write expressions from context MX plus B. So I thought instead of messaging all of you individually with a solution, I thought I would just go ahead and make a video going over a few example problems from this topic. So hopefully you guys find it helpful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over it on the one note. So let's take a look. I'm, I'll read it for us. It says, Gianna is going to an amusement park. The price of admission into the park is $40. So price of admission. The word admission means um, to enter. So to enter the park, you have to pay $40. And once she is inside the park, she will have to pay $4 for every ride. $4 for every ride she rides on. How much money would Gianna have to pay in total if she goes on 12 rides? How much will she have to pay if she goes on R rides? Okay, so here they're asking two questions. First one is the cost for 12 rides. Second one is cost for the unknown variable R rides. So let's think about this. Um, this is very similar to the warm-up problems we have been doing. So first, it is telling us that to enter the park, you have to pay $40. That is a one-time payment, right? You enter the park once and you pay $40 to enter the park. So that's 40 plus. She has to pay $4 for every ride. So for every ride she gets on, she pays $4. And how do we um, notate that it's a recurring payment, right? For X, right? 4x that tells you that for every ride here the variable r notates ride okay for every ride she gets on she pays four dollars and in our warm-up we've been saying this is equal to y right and in this case our variable y would equal to um the total cost all right so using this equation let's go ahead and figure out the answers for these two so first one is cost for 12 rides. So if she rides 12 different rides or rides something 12 times, how much is the total cost, okay? So since it's 12 rides and each ride is worth how much? $4, right? What you have to do is plug in $12 in here. So that would be $40 to enter. So to enter the park, she had to pay $40 and she got on 12 rides and each ride is worth $4. So this is what you're going to figure out. Um, so four times 12, four times 12 is 48. Bring down the 40. 40 plus 48 is 88. So the total cost for that day, if she rides 12 rides is $88. So 88 goes in here, okay? Next is cost for R rides. So unknown variable R, this is simpler than you think. Um, all we need to do is replace the variable X with the variable R. It's the same thing that we did for 12. You know how for the cost for 12 rides, you have to replace this variable X with 12. But since they're asking for the variable R, you're just replacing the variable X with R. If we go ahead and do that, what do we get? Um, 40 plus 4R, okay? I'm, I'm actually not sure if Delta Math is gonna have you write this in order. Um, they possibly might because here in the title, I noticed they have it written in the order of MX plus B. So like we practiced in class, we're gonna make the variable come first. 4R plus 40. All we did was switch. And again, I don't know if Delta Math is going to mark you wrong if you write it as 40 plus 4R. So um, I'm just being safe, just in case. I should double check actually. All right, so that is the answer for this one and that one. Um, just, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over, if you get it, like you're like, oh, that's easy. You can go ahead and pause the video here and go and finish your homework. Um, if you feel like you need, to watch another example, I'll go ahead and go over another example for you, okay? All right, so let's take a look at example number two. It's the same thing. 
Okay, it's the same thing. Um, I'll read it for us. It says Rashad went to the store to buy some apples. The price per pound of apples is four seventy five per pound. And he has a coupon for two dollars and fifty dollars off the final amount. Okay. With the coupon, how much would Rashad have to pay to buy five pounds of apples? Also, write an expression for the cost to buy p pounds of apples. Assuming at least one pound is purchased. Ooh, okay. So let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, I'm just thinking for a little bit. So it costs four seventy-five per apple, and then he has a coupon for two fifty off. So it's take away two fifty from the total cost. With the coupon, how much would Rashad have to pay to buy five pounds of apples? Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and explain my thinking process here. I'm going to erase this. I had to think about it for a little bit because um, now we're talking about taking away instead of adding, right? So here they're telling you that the price per pound of apple is $4.75 per pound. So for every pound of apples you buy, it's $4.75. So remember, we said... Um, Whenever you see the word per, whenever it's something you have to pay um, over and over again, in this case, for every pound of apples you buy, you multiply it by X. And he has a coupon for $2.50 uh, off. So you're saving, you're taking away $2.50, right? From the total cost you have to pay. Uh, with the coupon, how much would Rashad have to buy to buy... Um, how much would Rashad have to pay, sorry, to buy five pounds of apples? So in this case, um, the X cost, sorry, X represents uh, the pound of apples that you're buying. I'll write that, pound of apples. And this is equal to Y, and remember Y represents total cost. All right, so the question is, um, if you buy five pounds of apples, how much do you pay? So then what we need to do is replace the X, which is equal to the pound of apples, replace the X with the number five, because that is now telling you, you are buying five pounds of apples. So let's go ahead and see what we have. We are paying $4.75 per pound, and we're buying five pounds. So multiply that by five. And then we're taking away 250 because he has a coupon for 250 off. All right, so let's see what that is. 475 times 5. Uh, 475 times 5 is 2375. Take away 250. Then that is minus 250, 21.25. So if Rashad buys 5 pounds of apples with the coupon, he is paying $21.25. So that goes in here, okay? Next, it says to write an expression for the cost to buy P pounds of apples, P pounds. So P is unknown, unknown variable, just like what we saw before with the variable R. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this again to give myself a little bit more room. Um, so we know that the variable X represents a pound of apples. And just like how before, when we bought five pounds of apples, we replaced the variable with the number five. Here, we're buying P pounds of apples, right? So you just replace it with the variable P. Then if you just replace the X with the variable P, you have 475 times P minus 250. So that is your answer for this one. 475 P minus 2.50 or 2.5. Hopefully delta math lets you write 2 from 2.5. Um, and I notice how it says expression, right? Expression. So then remember for expressions, you do not write the equal sign. So you should not have the total um, x equal to the y, okay? If it was an equation, you should have an equal sign, but here it's asking for an expression. All right, so that's it. Um, those are the two examples. So hopefully you found them helpful. So I'm glad I went over both an addition problem and a subtraction problem. Um, if you still need help after watching the video, let me know. Okay, let me know and I will do my very best to be able to help you tomorrow. 
Alrighty. Bye guys.